Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Maddie Loves here, and today I am doing my nails again. Um, so today I got the Glamour Made Press On Nails, and it's this cute little butterflies, and they're smaller than the other ones that I normally get, only because, like, I also do, um, hair, so it's gonna be a little bit easier, but also, like, I get to have cute nails, and my nails have been bare for a while now, um, because I just like to take, um, a little bit of a break because I file the ever-loving crap out of my nails um so let's get started um basically this is literally just gonna be like a little podcast doing my nails type of deal oh hey they have little stickers but i have glue so and every single time i try to use these these just never work so um let me Hello? Hello? Haha. <laughs> -ha. I got you open. Cool. <sighs> now, um, how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? I'm just gonna pretend that you guys are saying, yes, we're good. Um, if you guys don't know this about me, but I normally would get like acrylics done and everything else like that. But like at the same time, I'm working on a budget. Um, only because like, I also wanna prove to myself that I can actually you know work on a budget um so we're just doing this and also like pr nail prep is also very important And also, like, here's a fun fact about me is that I rarely, like, my cuticles rarely, like, grow out of control for some reason. I don't know why, but they don't. I don't know if that's because, like, I have no idea. They just don't. And I don't know if it's because, like, the amount of times that I've gotten, like, acrylics done and my nails done and everything else like that since I was a literal child. Um... But yeah, also, sorry for, like, pajama wearing. I just felt like this should be, like, a little, um, you know, come chill out, do your nails while I'm doing my nails, like, you know, little, like, hang out, like, you're on FaceTime doing your nails with your friends. But, um, I am trying to get, uh, back onto, like, crocheting and knitting, and let me tell you that shit is hard because <laughs> i got the wooble kit and i'm over here like hat huh? the whole entire time while the video is like explaining on how to actually do it and i'm like completely lost like i'm a visual learner and i'm also a like textile learner i think it's what it's called so i'm over here like huh what's going on so it's a little bit more difficult than like just doing it. I don't know. I guess I don't have like the natural talent of being a crocheter. But also like practice makes progress. So I guess I have to keep that in mind as well. Why is it so hard to like buff the other nail like you're with your other hand and you're just like e That's how I feel the whole entire time. Like the whole entire time. Also, I got some new skincare products that I'm really excited to try out. 
I got this like snail mucin like face mask and I don't know if you know this about me guys but I have severe dry skin like to the point where it's like drier than the Sahara Desert and like I have to constantly put on moisturizer and like everything so I'm sort of kind of just like also try to find out which products work better because like I know I did like my favorite skincare products and they are, but like also at the same time, I love trying new things, including when it comes to that type of stuff. Um, I don't know, I've always been that way. Um, I am now pushing my cuticle of what I have back. And from what I learned from school is that if it does a wave at you, don't cut it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's how I was taught in beauty school. Most people get taught a whole different thing. I always feel weird doing cuticles on me. I don't know. I also need to get like a good like cuticle oil. Because I have like these this beetle one. But like it doesn't really do its job very well. And also like I don't know. Yes, I know I'm touching my face and blah, 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 blah. You're not supposed to touch your face. <sighs> but, like, I'm doing it anyway. And I'm literally, like, really excited because I love doing my nails like this i love doing my nails i love doing my own nails like i would even do like my own acrylics i've done that during like the month of covid and i've definitely learned how to do, just do my own nails um but like it's nice having someone else do it for you i'm gonna be honest with you because like my gosh it's a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot of work Oh my gosh. Um, I also have like my one of my co-workers who does nails also. Because my uh, salon is also a spa as well. So it's sort of kind of just like, I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it with her. Because she also, you know, does my hair and everything else like that. So it's sort of kind of just like, why not just have the best of both worlds? You know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, I also do stuff for her. That's how uh, salon friends do it. You do my hair, you do this, I'll do this and this and this for you. And I'm trying to also like learn how to do it on other people, but like I'm trying to get the stuff for that. And it's been a pain. I'm also trying to get, um, my um certificate in doing um eyelash extensions which is always very very um fun for me and it's very also very exciting because like I know that if I um, go ahead and do that, I will be like perfect at it because I have an eye for like detail and stuff like that. And also from practicing and everything, I'm pretty good at it. I just need to get better at like separation and like putting the eyelash like a centimeter, like half a centimeter away from like the lash line.
They like to make this difficult to find sizes for your nails. And I have very tiny like fingers so trying to find like like press on nails that actually fit you is a lot of work as well and like I have like other press on nails that I could have chosen because I have like a whole entire huge box full of them and I want to get more honestly from like etsy support small businesses and everything because i'm that girly who loves supporting small businesses also i'm gonna have a little bit of a sippy sip also if you guys like hearing me actually yap a lot I would recommend uh, listening to my podcast. I don't have like a YouTube channel for my podcast yet because I don't really have a full on setup. I literally just use my phone and like headphone microphone because again, falling on a budget, I don't have that much money for a setup for an actual like podcast video and also doing that at the same time. And I will figure it out. I will figure it out, but let me take my time with that so that I it actually is like real good quality because I love podcasts I love watching podcasts no That one fits more in there. I actually kind of like the this quality, um, the quality of these press-ons. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like these are like real nice. Um, normally, like the other ones are kind of like flimsy and like you have to be careful, but like these are like pretty sturdy. These are like acrylic on it like it feels like I don't know I might get some more of that brand huh also it's sort of kind of hard to keep your nails looking nice when you do um hair for a living I'm gonna let you know this now because like the color stains the nails and when you have acrylics and you know you have to like get them done like every like four to six weeks I don't know it's also just like if I have like a whole bunch of press-ons and like the nails don't look perfect I could literally just take these off and put the other ones on and have new fresh sets but also at the same time I kind of like get the whole appeal of like getting your nails done at the like nail salon and blah, blah 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 well this fits perfectly on my thumb well kind of that does not fit i'm literally taking almost all of the smaller sizes <sighs> I don't know why I do this to myself, like by myself, talking to a camera, doing it. I don't know. I like it though. I like doing this with you guys. And I like having like a sit down, like natural kind of conversation and just hanging out while doing this. And it doesn't take that long to, like, do press-ons because it's literally just, like, boop, 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 boop. And I could have, like, just fi figured out which nails fit my nails and then do it that way. But I like the struggle. I like to struggle a little bit when I'm doing my nails. Because if you're not struggling, are you really doing something by, like, doing it yourself, DIY? 
They look cute. Definitely not a shade that I'm very used to, but they're cute nonetheless. Because, like, I normally get, like, coffin nails because it, it fits me better. It definitely fits me a whole lot better than, like, Ha. I found you. I'm gonna put should I put that one on? I'm gonna figure out like pinky nail. That is tiny. That's like a kid size. Okay, that's better. I'm like, that's a kid size, dude. Um I don't have that small of a finger. I say that small. I'm itching my face. You know when someone says like don't touch your face and like you can't do this while you're doing like while you're doing something you can't touch your face. It immediately makes my like face itch or like my nose itch like immediately afterwards. Cool. Yeah. And also like this helps me like not buy my nails so much. Cause I have a huge, huge problem of just like gnawing on my nails, which is why my nails are so short. Um. It's like due to anxiety and everything. And I think I explained this to you guys before because like um, I do have severe anxiety. Um, I got diagnosed back in like eighth grade and I didn't know like why I got anxious or anything like that. I was just like, everybody feels that way, right? Like everybody gets that panicky, like, oh my God, oh my God, every single time. And, um, my therapist was like, uh, no. I was like, oh, okay. Well, now I got something to figure out, something to, like, work on myself with. That's for sure. Um, now I am going to do, see, this is where the problem starts. Because now I'm trying to now find, okay, perfect. It's not going to stay. Yeah, see, this is when the problem arises, is trying to find, that's perfect for your thumb. That's not going to fit. I think that is will fit. Is that like basically the same size? Yeah, that's basically the same size. It's okay. <laughs> it is definitely more difficult trying to find things that fit the size of a nail um because i literally used like sally hansen's type of stuff um like fake nail no it was kiss and they do a pretty good job and also like impress does a pretty good job of having like a lot of options for sizes it's just hard to find like perfect sizes for it, your nail beds, um, including when it comes down to like the final um, two nails. And I like this fast drying stuff because they actually. Um, 
does its job. It like literally secures it perfectly. And also like having like, you know, nail glue is definitely a good option. Also, sorry guys that I have been doing like my ASMR series, but um, I don't feel like I'm very passionate about ASMR anymore, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, as you guys know, I had like another ASMR channel and everything else like that. Um, after like losing basically my whole entire like channel, my first ASMR channel and everything, I sort of kind of just fell out of love for it. And not only that, I don't watch ASMR all that often anymore because of it. Not be solely because of it, but also just because like the triggers are basically the same exact thing. And I don't know, I, I think I'm like, I lost all of the tingles. I lost all of the, I guess, love for it. But yeah, um, I definitely love doing more of like sit down videos, like get ready with me, lifestyle content, basically just showing you my life. Um, because I feel more connected with you guys. Like, I have an actual, like, relationship with you guys, if that makes sense. And I like feeling like we are just a big, happy, like, family and type of stuff like that. Where, like, y'all can literally come to me with any issue. And even if I don't respond, like, it's still a good place to, like, you know get cleaned up a little bit you know still have that connection with you guys also if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and hit the little no subscribe button and then a little notification bell it notifies you every single time i upload and i upload every monday and i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you did please share it or also like comment down below um yeah see y'all later